Hi guys, my name is Inenur and I'm a first year student at the Survive University School of Medicine. On my channel, I'm filming vlogs about my student life and university experience. At NU, we have School of Medicine separated from the main building and in this video, I'm gonna show you how it looks. Basically, our medical school mainly consists of the lecture rooms, some conference halls, anatomy, histology and other research labs and also some practice rooms with robotic patients, I guess, and uh, several canteens and a huge medical library. Also national holding... Also medical holding of NU includes some clinics like national neurosurgery, cardiosurgery centers, and to keep this vlog short, I think I'll show you them in different videos. By the way, just in a decade, NU became top 30 research universities by the Higher Times Education uh, rankings. My university is located in Astana, which is the capital of Kazakhstan, and it offers full financial aid even for foreign medical students. So if you're a pre-medicine student and you want to pursue a career by applying for MD, I think that considering as a wife university is definitely worth it. So let me know if you want a separate video about this university, the medical education it offers, and some application tips. So thank you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Research opportunities. You know, we are a research intensive university. We are a research intensive school of medicine. Uh, you feel free to ask anything that you're interested in here on the this observation kit. Yeah, just feel free to come in and spread. Necessary equipment. It's necessary equipment, including uh, histological equipment. Researcher, uh, her name is Marcos. She's um, involved in organ outgrowth, it does models of cancer, and those models are... You should, yeah, just... So it's, it's basic cell culture room. Sometimes it's not like uh, efficient to conduct field uh, anatomy, and then it's the broadcast on these screens. All right. yeah. It's like for convenience of students. These are real dead men and women. Yes, they were treated chemically to preserve the integrity, the physiological integrity. I mean, like all the lipids, uh, carbohydrates, they were removed and they were maintained. The physical part is glass, uh, and also the practical part. Uh, this part is devoted for the nursing as I mentioned. Uh, Stoma, for example, or she could have different stomas here. The stoma is actually the hole, uh, the connection between the whole organ and the our body, like the um, stomach, for example, and the outside. Uh, but uh, the nurses, they should be able to care about the stomas. Uh, it's like the one just look that everyone should be able to do. Uh, this is the Simman, uh, Simman, uh, and uh, she is going to deliver the baby, and 
uh, and different, uh, you know, uh, uh, is you know, um, like a mirror here, but it's actually, uh, you know, the facilitator is behind the window, and he or she controlling what's going on in the room, and also the facilitator in the room and say, guys, what did you do? So it's like to do with the stressful situations and to mm -hmm. like, make the right decisions. Yeah, exactly. And uh, also, what what is good? It's like the uh, um, computer game that we could like put the situation on the pause, mm -hmm. discuss the situation, and then came back from the right point and so on. To, to the left. Octagonoscope, plotoscope, the blood pressure cuff, and everything is real. I mean, if some of you has the problem with the eyes, we could check the fundus, we could do the fundoscopy and check with the... I call this room like a fitness center. You know, we came to the fitness to be stronger and the same... I also usually do the same here, they train on different skills. We have to do this one and this one. And after this course, we bring all uh, my kids, all the classes in this year. And after that, if you know, uh, surgeons, they like to work in this room because we have all the sutures, uh, stars, and uh, tools also. And we have uh, this is the lab that's going Oh, I can't breathe. My chest hurts. Help. Okay. Don't worry. We're here to help. <laughs> and, uh, so two parts of this. So and also you you can touch the pulses on the hands, on the neck, on the legs from that side. And also we can hear the breath sounds or heart sounds. If some of you could take that stuff. He's breathing. Yeah. <laughs> so, usually we start in, uh, we have special order how to ascultate the heart. We're starting this part. Wow, that was hard. <laughs> you could hear the heart, and ex here exactly we ascultate in the aortic valve, and then we ascultate the pulmonary valve, and then tricuspid, and then mitral. And you can hear how the heart beats. Can you hear that? It's like mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a pulse. Mm -hmm. In the next couple of minutes, uh, he, he will, will die. Um, not die, but he will be unconscious. Doc, I feel like I could die. <laughs> exactly, we know that. So, and we have to do something. But he's still conscious. It means that the. Uh, If you see uh, um, on the monitor, actually something happened with the patient. Okay, he is conscious. Okay, we were good on the CPR, and now he is um, back to life. So uh, I'm fine. Sorry. <laughs> you did this or this person? Yeah, we we working together. <laughs> we have this scenario. Right. So the idea about uh, this is like. Um, Complicated scenario. The patient came to the hospital with a chest pain mm -hmm. because of the myocardial infarction, for example. And while we're asking different questions, why are you here? Uh, did you take any medications? Uh, the situation is worse. If you put your fingers here, you'll feel the pulse. We're looking for the, any problems, any cysts in the thyroid line. And once we find that, uh, found it. Uh, so we can do the biopsy under the ultrasound control. You can touch this itself. I like it.
все вопросы именно по электронным ресурсам, вы можете зайти на library.no.kz в разделе FAQ. Вы можете найти теги именно по вопросам электронных ресурсов.